Hey guys, how's it going? It's Andy Gross with ACT Firearms Talk. Uh, just wanted to tell you guys a quick little story here about my drive in to work today. Um, it was pretty hilarious, actually. I had this, this crazy bitch, and I'll call her a crazy bitch because you'll agree with me after you hear this story. Pulls up next to me today. Um, at I was at a uh, uh, place getting a drink before I'm going to work. Pulls up next to me, and she gets out of her Honda. And uh, the first thing, of course, I already, already noticed was the I'm with her sticker on the back of the Honda. Uh, she looks at me, and she looks at my truck, and literally like walks around to look at the back window of my truck. And goes, you're a Nazi terrorist piece of shit. I looked at her. And I kind of threw me off, you know, like, wait, what, what the hell, who is this lady? So it took me a few seconds and I, I finally, uh, like processed what she said, I guess it's early. I'm, you know, I'm tired. Uh, finally processed what she said. And, um, I came back with, uh, how do I know you? Like, what are you talking about? Pretty much. Um, why would you say that? Cause I don't even know you. So her response to that <clears throat> was something along the lines. And I posted it on my Facebook page because it was fresh in my memory. So I could, uh, actually remember her quote, but it was something along the lines of, I have an NR gay sticker. That's how she put it. Um, and a black and blue flag that I am pretty sure she doesn't know what that means. It's a thin blue line flag on the back of my truck. Um, obviously I'm going to, I'm going to quote unquote, which is what she did. American piece of shit, Nazi terrorist. And I'm clueless and I don't know anything. So I kind of chuckled. I kind of just laughed to myself. Um, because to me, that was kind of funny. First of all, I'm being called a Nazi, which I've been called a Nazi before, which is really funny to me. Because if you don't know me, I'm Jewish, 100% Russian Jew. And when I get called a Nazi, it kind of cracks me up because people don't have a clue that I'm Jewish, I guess. Um, it's not like I wear my Jew card out or something, but, uh, so it, it always makes me laugh anyway. And then the fact that she's telling me that I'm a, uh, a terrorist and a quote unquote American, why? Because I have an American flag on the back of my truck makes me a quote unquote American. Uh, these people don't make any sense. My response to her was simple. It's not worth engaging with these idiots anymore. They're absolute morons. So my response to her was exactly this. I said politely, ma'am, can I aid you and assist you in getting any help calling somebody maybe to come get you? I don't, I don't know what I should do. I'd love to help. So she kind of looked at me puzzled, like, wait, what the hell are you talking about? What's this Nazi terrorist talking about? So I said, well, I'm, I'm kind of confused. I, I think you maybe need help because judging by the sticker on the back of your car and your hateful, disgusting verbiage, word vomit coming out of your mouth, um, I'm assuming you escaped from a mental institution somewhere or need to go to one. Um, so I'd love to help you. <laughs> her response, fuck you, you piece of shit, Nazi and sped off in her little Honda. So I'm going to show you what stickers offended this lady. God damn it's Sunny out here. So this is one of the stickers that offended her. And then the other sticker Let's go around here. The other sticker was that one right there. That's what offended this lady. A thin blue line sticker and an NRA sticker. That's offensive to people now, apparently. Clueless morons. Blind emotional idiocracy. That's what that is. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe to this channel and like and share this video. Thanks a lot.